I'm building power generating armor where I'm using the cells themselves to take much of the energy out of higher caliber rounds like the 300 blackout or the steel cord 556 green tip. So to power peripherals of a suit, we need an energy source, but we don't want that energy source sitting between our cells and the armor panel because if these go into thermal runaway, then you're gonna be cooked. So by placing them on the outside, they're able to off gas away from the panel when they take damage and they're tightly wrapped cores with the light armor around them, which is to protect against melee attacks, seriously reduces the energy of the round before it actually hits the armor. So the whole goal there is that by combining these two in this way, we end up with a much lighter panel that can still stop these more serious threats. Now, I just received the isolator chips that I designed from PCBWay, and these allow the cells to be able to take damage in this way. So cells can be short-circuited, damaged, torn out, doesn't matter. The other cells that are healthy will immediately redistribute power or cut off power to the damaged cells, making it okay to have some of these cells being vulnerable to some damage like ballistics. But check out the video I just posted on YouTube for how all the different plates are made and all of the various caliber tests that I did across my different battery and armor types.